Uh, yeah. So there's an article in Clean Technica. Um, you know, just just talking about sales. Nothing new. It's uh, something you do at the beginning of each month just to wrap up the the, the month that has just passed. Um, the article just states that um, some of the major manufacturers. Um, such as Toyota Lexus, Mercedes Acura, Audi, and Infiniti, as they've uh, decided to call out, um, experienced sales drops in the U.S. in April. And, uh, you know, just looking at all the cars, and, and they break it down into both uh, the manufacturer as a whole and the manufacturer car uh, sales, just to, you know, to, to show that, okay, I mean, car, uh, sedans or or uh, Passenger cars are just kind of in, uh, on a decline uh, in general, anyway, and then light trucks, you know, SUVs are on the rise. And so the article was basically s stating that all of those uh, car manufacturers are experiencing uh, um, declines in their sales, and they they do mention a few that have increased. Um, BMW, Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, Subaru, and Volkswagen are the ones that they listed. Now, the reason why this, there's this article is a little more specific in calling out the, the, two, uh, the different manufacturers is that they're co comparing that, of course, to Tesla and the Model 3. Um, the, I guess, the sales, of course, um, you know, the Model 3, just w the one particular model is outselling you know, several uh, manufacturers' entire lineups, <laughs> um, which is the thing they're trying to point out here. Um, so it's not the, the the thing you know as an article in general like that's great you know you you're you're bringing light into or attention to uh you know electric vehicles and the fact that you know you you have a single vehicle that is different it's an alternative fuel and that's um you know gaining gaining in popularity such that it can um, outsell entire lineups of, of a different menu of different manufacturers and some of them are large ones you know like like BMW or a Ford and that sort of thing. The paragraphs uh, at the end of the article, this article states that uh, the thing that shocks me, to be honest, is that people are mostly continuing to buy shitty cars, crossovers, and SUVs and are asleep to the superior superiority of Teslas. For the most part, this, this one simple reason for this. People know very little about Tesla vehicles and are often actually digested misinformation. People are unaware of the fact that Tesla vehicles are much safer, much quicker, have much better infotainment, and have much better driving assistant features. People are unaware that a Tesla Model 3 is even cheaper than a Honda Accord or a Toyota Camry, despite being a thousand times more fun. There's a link to that. People are unaware <laughs> that a Tesla Model 3 costs about as half as much as a BMW 320i, uh, 320i over five years. There's also a link to that article. But it's still 733 times more fun. Will consumers learn in time? It will be interesting to watch and document as the public wakes up to the superiority of well-designed electric vehicles. In the meantime, you have to feel a bit bad for all those people still buying Camrys, Accords, Civics, Corollas, Sentras, Ultimas, Elantras, BMWs, Audis, Acuras, and all and other crap mobile. So there's, I mean, I've you know, I, I've done comparisons, you know, myself, and there is no doubt that an electric vehicle to own. Um, is uh, the cost of ownership is much lower than a traditional gasoline vehicle. The th the reason why that that last few paragraph gets to me is that the author appears to be completely unaware that not that <laughs> that everyone isn't a millionaire. <laughs> you know, yes, there are this, this, this. I don't disagree with him. There are you know there's misinformation out there. People aren't aware that a Model Three is cheaper than a Accord. That's probably true. Um, you know, people don't know about Teslas. Uh, that surprisingly is true too. I've bumped into this random person that didn't know that Tesla was a full electric vehicle. Um, they know about it, but they just didn't know it was a full EV. So yes, there is this this misinformation out there. But the problem as well is not everyone can afford a fifty thousand dollar vehicle. When a Corolla is twenty thousand, bingo. Right. <clears throat> so yes, definitely. If you ha if you have the money. And you're buying another fifty thousand dollar vehicle, then yeah, why wouldn't you get the Tesla? Because it's cheaper to run and cheaper to own over five, ten, you know, whatever the life of the vehicle. But the problem is, not everyone has fifty thousand dollars to buy a car. So anyway, that's. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's an arrogance article 
with a couple little statistics thrown in to try to make it sound just completely factual. And, and you know, it, it's unfortunate that that last bit is all thrown in there and yeah, like and stick to factual stuff, you know, because, you know, I, I think if you can make a case that says, you know, much like you said, you know, here, here is actual cost to purchase. Here's actual cost at, at five years to maintenance. Here's where it really pans out. And here are the benefits uh, of a Tesla and, you know, make your decision. If you own an apartment, it might not work for you. If you are a living apartment, it might not work for you. If you, you know, have to drive, 500 miles a day to, to your job, it might not work for you, but uh, otherwise, but you're right. I mean, it's the way it's written is just terrible. I mean, it's yeah. Like I, the beginning of the article, like most of the article is fine. Like if you had to stop there without the last paragraph, that would have been fine because it's, yeah, but you do, you do the math and it's, it works out. I would say that they could phrase the end paragraph differently because it's, it's true. Like my whole family, anyone that has not yet ridden in one of my cars shits all over it. They're like, yeah, oh, but you got to stop to charge. Oh, it's so expensive. I'm like, you can get for the, you know, $500 a month you're spending on fuel and Toyota Camry or Lexus, whatever you could get the model three at, uh, at $400 a month, kill that gas bill and the maintenance. And if you'd ever take a spin around the block, you'd realize that uh, all your freaking fears about being stranded are nothing. I kind I like the last paragraphs, but if if you took out like the Teslas and put in electric vehicles, yeah, mm-hmm. I think we would all be saying, "Hell's yeah!" Mm-hmm. If you know, because the the superiority of electric vehicles. People know very little about electric vehicles and often have digested misinformation. People are unaware that electric vehicles are safer, quicker, have better infotainment and better drivers, you know, or, you know, whatever. But, um, you know, it, this is what we've been saying for years. Even the Chevy Volt would, would pass every every measurement of that, except for the, you know, it still has oil changes once a year. And like John said, you know, we, we, we're seeing more come online. The Kona, the Leaf, X, the Leaf Plus, the you know, we're seeing more. Uh, you, yeah, Tesla. yeah, we're seeing more electric vehicles come online. And um, yeah, you know, I I kind of like those the the last paragraphs because it, it was so bold and in your face. Mm-hmm. I do wish it, he wouldn't have just specified, you know, the Model Three and the Tesla. And if if he had just said, you know, electric vehicles in general. Then I would have been standing on the soapbox yelling, you know, amen, you go, you know. Yeah. Well, there's, there's also the, you know, you, you, you didn't have to put down <laughs> the gasoline vehicles. Exactly. Yeah. This doesn't oh, have to yeah. be a war. It doesn't have okay. to be a war. Yeah. It doesn't it have is. to be a war. <laughs>